Ifreda canceled its next city council meeting because not enough council members would be at the meeting to make a quorum. The city council normally meets on the first and third Wednesdays of each month. A man is accused of burglarizing a dead man's home. Prosecutors charged Kenneth Cole, a 54-year-old Soap Lake resident in Grant County Superior Court, with residential burglary and theft in the third degree. Soap Lake police were reportedly keeping an eye on a 4th Avenue Southeast home after a series of burglaries. The homeowner died in January without any next of kin or a will, so it is the property of the Washington State Department of Revenue. An officer was checking the residence early in the morning of July 7th when they discovered an open door. Police reportedly found Cole inside the residence and stolen coins in his pocket. Cole claimed he was in the home looking for photos of children the former owner molested. He allegedly appeared surprised when the officer told him the former owner was dead. In Northwest News, the Mills Canyon fire burning near Eniat grew to 35 square miles on Sunday. Officials say they've strengthened containment lines, but they're still worried about the potential for dry lightning and wind to kick up the fire. Officials are calling the fire 25% contained as of this morning. Residents of several dozen homes have been told to evacuate. People living in another 500 homes have been warned to be prepared to leave if the fire gets closer. The National Weather Service says thunderstorms with dry lightning are expected in the area. Legal pot stores may have opened in Seattle last week, but that isn't stopping black market dealers. In fact, the move has some of them more open to sharing about the way they make their money. King 5 reporter Eric Wilkinson has more on the story. Yeah, I, 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 I just visited some growers. Ben Schrader is a salesman at heart, an unabashed, unrepentant career pot salesman. I started selling pot in Rainer Beach, at Rainer Beach High School in 1974 when I was 14 years old. Schrader is so open about his dealing that he has a Facebook page, even hands out business cards. One would think the opening of new legal pot stores in Washington would have him weighing other options, but not so. I've always said if the government could put me out of business by legalizing pot, uh, then I'm all for it. The state's plan is as more stores open up, prices will go down and eliminate illegal dealers. But unlike seedy street sellers, Schrader considers himself more along the lines of a wine boutique. All my stuff is grown in Washington. Where cannabis connoisseurs will go for specialized products and support their local dealer. You know, for the same reason that people don't go to Walmart and support their local, you know, their little local shop. All black market dealers are banking on the belief that police will leave them alone. The department's policy on pot is a bit hazy, but a spokesman for SPD tells me unless someone is dealing or using marijuana in an egregious way, like around kids in a park, they'll likely let it go. Schrader says he experienced that firsthand when approached by police while dealing outside a concert recently and was simply told to pack up and leave. I, I think that we've gotten to that point uh, where we have an attitude towards things where uh, it's it's not going to it's not going to be a big issue. Nowadays, there seems to be an app for just about everything, including finding your dog a play date. A new mobile app called Doggy BNB connects dog owners with other dog owners in their area. The app's creator says it helps users find trustworthy people to look after their pets when they're gone or schedule a puppy play date. App co-founder Adam Porkernicki says he got the idea for Doggy BNB after he had to miss out on a weekend out with friends because he couldn't find a dog sitter. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.